Negative campaign attacks or informing the public. Where's the line? That's the dilemma in a race right now for a Northland City Council seat. New at 6, 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan found out why a candidate doesn't think a fair campaign pledge is being used for the right reason. Shannon? The mayor and city council signed this resolution encouraging an end to negative attack ads after ads were blamed for the suicides of two Missouri uh, political figures. However, one local candidate feels a pledge like this is being used for the wrong reasons. He can be manipulated. Political attack ads. That's what friends say led to Missouri Auditor Tom Schweik's suicide. After his death, Kansas City Mayor Sly James and City Council members signed a civility resolution. It encouraged an end to malicious personal attacks. But second district at large candidate Jay Hodges believes his opponent is using the pledge for something else. It's frustrating to me because I really want people to be informed about what's going on. Hodges compiled articles about opponent and former city councilwoman Teresa Lohr. She served two terms in the 90s and early 2000s. Lohr signed a fair campaign pledge and asked Hodges to do the same. He has not. When you say you can't bring up anything that has gone on in my public life as a public official, as a, as a person in the public light, you don't get to bring any of that back up, I'm not going to agree to that. Hodges believes it's an attempt to hide her past. There's personal life and there's professional life, but when you make mistakes, the public has the right to kind of call you on it. I spoke to Laura earlier in the day and she agreed to comment on this story. However, after at least four more attempts to reach her, she has yet to respond. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.